going on guys got a couple cold old starts today um, let's see what we got uh, 32 so it's just freezing temperature but uh, I got one uh, tractor I'm gonna do two tractors today one tractor is uh, one I usually mow with and most of the time in the middle of the winter I just leave gas in it you know when I put it away in the middle of the winter I'll start it up and let it run for a little bit and then uh, this one is uh, that last free one I got um, it's supposed to just run you put gas in it and it runs but it has been sitting for a year and a half two years something like that it hasn't ran in that long so uh, there's no gas in it and so I'm gonna put some gas in it and then I have a pair of vice grips here because there's no there's no shut off valve on here so if it ends up having a clogged up carburetor and gas starts running everywhere I can shut it off by putting the vice grips on but uh, see if I can position you guys I tried hooking a battery to the battery and I already tried like turning it over just to just to see if it worked and it won't you know by the time it gets through the bike of the tractor's wiring it uh I got uh you know too much voltage dropped through the cable so had to, I did try it. It does turn over when you hook it right to the vet starter. Alright, so I had to stop the video for a little bit to yell at everybody to go play somewhere. Turn the key on. Turn the switch on. Choke on this thing. It's kind of handy. It's right on the same lever as the throttle. So. I don't think I've ever owned one that was like that. It had a separate lever. into like dropping a battery in this thing just to do this uh, all right well I'll be I'll be back I might go just go to the other one or I might stick a battery down in here we'll see all right so uh, I got to kind of figuring out uh, something bad going on here the reason why it's not turning over is that the float is stuck on this carburetor and it's filling the crankcase up with 
gasoline, so it's hydro locking basically. So this guy is not going to be running today because pretty much I'm kind of looking at what this tractor is. Um, I can get it running if the other one died, so you know it's kind of a backup. You know, in this situation, I need it running, and I'll just. Uh, you know, I have to clean the carburetor and drain the oil out, put new oil in. And I know it runs, it just, uh, well, this is what happens when things sit around for a couple of years. So, we'll uh, go check out the other tractor. Hey, we got the uh, other tractor out. So, uh, um, this engine's dying, and the deck on this thing's dying, and the choke lever, you know, the choke you know, knob lever is broke, so every time I start this thing I gotta use uh, some starting fluid, so um, it always works, and I actually usually keep it right there, because even after you've ran this thing, and it's, you know, fully warmed up, it still needs the ether to start up. And the seat's missing because I had you know one of the UTV seats on here, and I pulled it off. I have to put a different seat back on here later. But uh, the battery in this thing's pretty new. It's like last fall. It's been on the solar thing to keep it topped off. So it wasn't on here just recently. I had it on there like a week or so ago. But um. I just recently changed that starter and it wasn't because of the starter it was the gear that was on there and uh, I bought a new the, when I bought the new starter it came with an extra gear and I had a thought of you know just putting the gear the extra gear on the old starter and it ended up being the shaft is plastic as well and it ended up being kind of bad too so I ended up just putting a whole new starter on it So, um, wasn't starting up, and I think I have an idea what it might be. Could possibly be you know, a short somewhere in the kill, kill wire. So, I disconnected it. I'm going to see if it starts up with that disconnected. And, uh, see if that does something. Uh, see if we can do this again. So she was wide open. Um, I'm gonna try to get you know get a little bit more to it and see if I can get it going. It could possibly be the fact that this line is so long, but uh, pretty much I at one point I siphoned all the gas out of this, and 
you know, so I just had more line attached to line so I could get it in the can. But, uh, well, that's probably about it. I'll probably get this thing going again, but it did start up, so I guess I'll catch you guys later.